Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1101 for Monday, May 31st, 2010. The Matrix Cube Clock. Now, get ready for Dick. Monday, a brand new week, a brand new day, and yes, indeed, a brand new Daily Gizwiz. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new Daily Gizwiz. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new Daily Gizwiz. The worse your life. A brand new week and a brand new day. The better we sound. It makes its own gravy. Your life, say in a brand new day, in a brand new day, the better we sound. The worse your life, the better we sound. Now, 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 Oh, wow. The crowds love us, Leo. They love us. <laughs> well, you know, we never celebrated podcast 1100. Yeah, that's a special oh. one. <laughs> oh, Dick, right. you haven't so had that, that sitting on your desk since Friday, have you? Yeah, I have. <laughs> I've been sitting here since Friday, so I don't forget. <laughs> Well, happy 1100th podcast. Yes, and Leo, along with 1100, is something pretty amazing, is the podcast. Oh, you got yours. The 2010 award, which is amazing for several reasons. One is I didn't think we'd have it two times in a row. <laughs> and two is there is no 2010 podcast award yet. So that's is why that this he is... sent you. He marked it up with a ten. I I have mine. I have mine right I, here. I, Look, uh, I, the, my my art department did it. For oh, me. I forgot oh, yeah, to, see, you have last. I forgot award. to give this to Cammy when she came in here. Dang it! Oh, that you had. Oh, you a uh, food and drink? Yeah, oh. this is hers. I should give this to her. She could put it right there on the. And then I have another one. I have two. Well, you must have one for the. Do they send you one for the daily gifts list too? No, 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 no. That's you get to keep that one. Oh, okay. This week in tech, one one. Yeah. Okay. So I get to keep that one because I guess that's that's my show. But uh, this that's your goes, show. This will go to Cami. Yeah, these are actually they did a nice job. And they did then, a beautiful job on thanks, them. Yeah. Thanks to Todd Cochran and Blueberry for that. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you want, I can have Dennis Wonderland turn it into one of these magical 2010 awards. Nah. Just. Nah. You know what? It'll happen all by itself. Oh really? One day I'll wake up and they'll just say 2010. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you got. We got awards going back to uh, 2005. I have these. Do you have an award closet. <laughs> kind of award. I have a word cupboard. A cupboard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, an award fireplace top. I yeah. If I had a fireplace, I would. I don't Wait know. Wait a minute. You have a fireplace. Oh, I could put. I could put them in this in there, couldn't I? I should yeah. probably, huh? The mantle of fame. It's not a fireplace top. It is the mantle of fame. You know, I wear that mantle with ah, grace. And, <laughs> it just fell over. Yeah. <laughs> grace yeah. and, and the poise. The true professional at work, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I just, I just tripped up. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> really, these yes. are dangerous, these headphone cords. You could really get yourself uh, in trouble. Every DJ I know, and yes. I ask you, anybody who's listening who's ever been a DJ, has probably had the dream that I have. I still have. I'm not even a DJ anymore. I still periodically will have the dream. The song is running out. And you that you can't, for some reason, can't get to the next song. And you're all tangled up in your headphone cords. And you can't move. And, and the song is running. It's the equivalent of the I'm taking an exam in my underwear dream. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you now have... Why we not wearing wireless headsets? Is it because the fidelity is not that good or they could be unreliable? <laughs> I don't know, because there's a plug right here. I just plug it in. You're right. I probably <laughs> should I probably should go. I have, as you well know. I was well going to say, I have about eight 
pair yeah. the wild safe. I would say last week I reviewed those Nokia's. Those are re I love those. They're more comfortable. They sound better, and they're wireless. But you know the problem. I'll tell you why. I don't have a Bluetooth yes, soundboard. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I need a Bluetooth sound card, soundboard. Oh. I bet you they make a. I bet you I should ask Kirk Harnack, the fabulous fellow from Telos Systems. I bet you they have a uh, an Axia Bluetooth module so that I could do that. We'll go wireless. Yeah, then I can go to the bathroom with my headphones on. Absolutely. It would be perfect. It's my lifelong dream. <laughs> That's another dream, but I'll save that for another day. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay so what's your gadget for the day gadget today? Gadget of the day. I'm going to reveal the gadget of the day as I jump from the light. Wow. It's a big green digital clock. A digital clock. Now, it's not an ordinary digital clock. It's a... Uh, Think Geek tie over there. I said, Dick, I got a great digital clock via studio because the three squares are movable. So you can. What? You can so you can make it 405.11? Now, why would you want to do that? Just for fun. So you want a <laughs> stack clock? Oh, I get it. I kind of like that. Oh, wait a minute. I might have to get that for the studio. And yeah, it's pretty nifty. I love it too. Uh, I actually st uh, stacked them wrong. It should be the five on the top. Well, that's the fun of it. You can make everybody confused. It could be five thirty-two forty-eight. Yeah. Oh, the problem is that the electric coil where I have it plugged in is not quite long enough so, to do what I want. So, are the blocks uh, electric, or are they just? How do they? The, they, they actually, there's a little. <clears throat> it's about a five-inch ribbon connector between them. So I you see. can't stretch them out too far. I see. Um, but that would be so it, great here in the studio. Instead of this this big clock, I could just have those instead. I'm going to go with that. That looks good. Yeah. And there's a 24-hour uh, switch in the back. So, And, and I know you like 24-hour time. Uh, 35 bucks. That's called That's the right. Matrix Cube Clock. And the numbers are, are pretty decent. E each uh, block is... Three and a half inches square, three by five. Oh, it's an alarm, inches. too. It's an alarm, snooze, built-in snooze clock. Wow. And uh, Ty said that someone wrote in and said, we need a techie, we want a techie kind of alarm clock for the nightstand. And they came up with the matrix. <laughs> you know, Colleen, who's who's no longer here, she, she's she gone Oh, off. did she, she finally she, go? The last day was Friday, and we had a little go by, going away party, and everybody got really drunk and sad and... I don't know. I blacked out, so I don't know what I did. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. But uh, we. Uh, um, what what was I going to say? Oh, she wrote. Uh, she and her friend wrote a, an alarm clock program for Android phones. Um, and it's very clever because you know Colleen is a um, good sleeper. <laughs> She's one of those okay. sleepers who never wakes up. You know, well, I should send her the rude awakening alarm. Clock well, from she's trying them, and she's tried clocky and everything. So she wrote an Android alarm clock. This is this is so 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 smart. So the alarm clock is on your phone, and when it goes off, you can shake it and it will snooze, but you cannot turn it off. You can only shake it and it will snooze. It will not turn off until it's going more than five miles an hour. So you have to get in your what? car. Yeah, it doesn't go off till you're on your way to work. Is that not brilliant? Funny idea. It works for her. Is that not brilliant? It's so funny. I don't own a car, so I would actually have to go hail a cab. You have to either hail a cab or I, run, or run, run or is, get on the subway, or a bus. Run is, actually, I should look and see. It might have a threshold. You might be able to set it for three miles an hour. You don't want it so that it will go off if you walk across the room. You want it to go off. Yeah, because you yeah, you'd have, you could jog in place, but very very fast, which would wake you up. The, yeah, actually, that's true. That's actually a good point, isn't it? I think it's called yeah. Alarmed Clock Extreme. No e. Let me just let me just see. X T R E M E. Ah. You know, I promised her I would I would flog this, and now that she's not here anymore, I I, I feel guilty that I never did. Um, well, we're doing it now. We're doing it now, and uh, but unfortunately, I don't I don't actually know the name of it. I'll find oh, okay. it. I'll find it for you before the end of this program. So the mixed cube alarm clock, thirty four ninety nine matrix cube. The matrix alarm. cube, right? And it's back ordered. Oh, it's on back order. Damn. Already. Oh. This would be so good for the studio. I love this, and it's got a snooze button. 
Wow. Yeah, it's pretty nifty. Oh, and also, Leo, I just remembered, today's Memorial Day as we... Yes, do, as, we, uh, uh, as we do this, as, as we don't do as, this, as we as will do hear this. this. As you so hear you this. are actually out, is it laser tag? I'm laser tagging, Fun Crunch, and uh, the boy Squiggy. No, that's not his oh, name. Oh, Squiggy. Not Squiggy. What is his name? The boy? Squawky. <laughs> Squaw wait a Squirrely. What is it? Ziggy. <laughs> oh, Ziggy. <laughs> Squirrely. You know, I, 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 he came in and he gave me the... Were you here when he gave me this, the induction, the order to uh, report? Yes, yes, I, yeah. I was. So it says here, Ziggy, the boy Ziggy, has inducted me. And so we're going to Dot Com Wars 2, the laser tag picnic party for Memorial Day, sflasertag.org. And I understand there's going to be a Google team, an Adobe team, and an Apple team. So they should really be vicious yeah. It so if Colleen is there as part of the Google team, you're a dead man. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. She will have built oh laser sites. Oh, my God. She cannot that, play for uh, them. Oh, my God. I didn't even think of that. Oh, she'll Do you think Colleen have, will play for the other side? Oh, my God. I didn't even think of that. That's horrible, you Dick. Have put that in the, you should have put that in the... Uh, Contract. The non-compete. The non-laser non tag. The, yeah. <sighs> Exactly. You know, it's not legal in the state of California to have a non-compete clause in a contract, but I think you can have a, have a clause that says you may not shoot me for 30 days after you leave. Oh, I think that's a given. I, th I think so. It's only good business sense. <laughs> after all. You cannot have a non-compete clause in a California contract? No, they're not enforceable. Wow. Well, we live in a state where freedom reigns. And debt. And debt. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's going to be, it's not a big team. We don't have a big team. We only have six people. It's me, Eric. John, are you going? John, uh, Jammer B, uh, and Henry, my son, and two of his friends. We brought in, we got ringers. Three people, three young Listen, people. If Colleen shows up alone, you're still all oh, you're dead. You're right. Oh, man. <laughs> you're dead. Oh, you're man. dead. Ay, 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 ay. It's alarm clock X-T-R-E-M-E, -E, says Chimera. Oh, okay. Alarm clock X T R E. So now this is uh, an app you can buy. Uh, let me see if it costs anything. Yeah, give me the post-it. He keeps trying to give me a post-it. Go ahead, John. What is the post-it? Alarm clock extreme. It's exactly what I just said. Thank you, John. <laughs> That's good. No, I I knew I'd come up with it. And it's one word, I think. Let's see. Alarm clock X T R E M E. I'm doing a search in the Android marketplace. Maybe it's not one word. No, it's not one word. It's three words. Oh, you know what? Someone just posted a, a link in the chat room. Yes, but that doesn't help me because I have no way of getting that into my phone. Oh. Except for typing. Appbrain.com. Appbrain. Yeah, I use Appbrain. That's a great little uh, Android app. So, mm, oh, well, I'll find it one of these days. On Clock Extreme. Yes. And it's free. And paid. Freemium. It does turn off when you go five miles an hour or does it turn off automatically at five miles <clears throat> oh do, the person is asking do you have to turn it you still have to turn it off at five miles an hour no no it, it senses your speed okay. oh and you can set the speed there's a there's a speed to dismiss alarm <laughs> so oh, okay. you can say how fast or how slow you have to be isn't that clever yeah it's so clever. what's the slowest you can be I don't know. I'll have to download it. And see. Oh, okay. I'll okay. add it to my list. Okay. I'll let I mean, you know. Like, By the you time the show... flight of stairs is that fast. Yeah, enough. right. <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> I'm I awake. I just fell over a rug. Is that count? I'm awake. And now, here's a letter. A letter from Jeff Corgan. Pensacola, New Jersey says, I remember the DocuPen. Yes. But I don't think you covered this on the Daily Gizwiz. It is the Viewpoint Solutions Magic Wand. Oh. I hesitated to buy it at first since all the videos and tapes I saw were promotional. But it was too cool of a concept to pass, off, uh, pass up. It's a portable scanner that saves to a micro SD card. Being on Linux, I need a platform that's agnostic 
So the this is a perfect scanner and it means everything to me. I got one. It takes a steady hand and a good surface, but my first tests seem to suggest the results are worthwhile. I'm sending you a couple of samples, which he did. I purchased mine through Amazon and they're touting its uh, availability soon at Bed Bath & Beyond. Thanks for a great show, Jeff Corrigan. And what I, I, I did a little web search and people are raving over this device. I don't think I, I, I have several DocuPens, but- So you think this is Magic better Wand, than the DocuPen? Well, you know what, he, the samples he sent were really nice and the Magic Wand is under a hundred bucks. Oh, cause DocuPen's what, 159? Uh, yes. Something like that. And, and then there was the one we saw at CES, I think was 400 or something. Wow. But anyway, if you want it, what, what's good is if you go to Bed Bath & Beyond, they'll probably let you uh, take it home and try it and return it if you don't want it. So, but you could check uh, Viewpoint, VU, Viewpoint Solutions Magic Wand, Bed Bath. Now we know what some of the beyond is. <laughs> it's I mean, a, a magic wand. Way beyond bed and bath. Yeah, trust me. Yeah. Anyway, oh. a mini review from Jeff. Well, you know, next time, Dick, it's Turn the Tables Tuesday, and I have to just thank you for sending me the gadget for tomorrow because it really saves me a lot of time if you just send me something to review. Okay. Now, I have to admit. I'll just put that on the list of stuff I one have. One more to do. thing. I, I have to admit, sometimes it would be nice if you sent me something that actually was a gadget. But I'm looking forward to reviewing this block of don't go, two no. by four wood. Oh, you could just don't say any more about it. Save the rest. Oh, of we'll definitely want to save some of the features of this two by four, like the like the hole from the nail that used to be there. And look at this. <laughs> you won't believe this splinter 2.0, ready to go. So, uh, yep, it's going to be. Uh, I would say one of the worst. Turn the tables Tuesdays. Ever. Can You're I count ready. on you, Dick? I'll be here. D A I L Y. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It makes its own gravy. Yeah.